Welcome back. New numbers from the CDC show a startling increase in the number of opioid overdoses across the country. More than 100,000 Americans died of drug overdoses over a one-year stretch between 2020 and 2021, and the Bay Area is among the worst places in the nation. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck explains the new programs that Florida leaders hope will help. It's more than car accidents, it's more than heart attacks. It's, I mean, it's, it, when I describe what fentanyl is, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's murder. John Templeton Jr. is on the front lines of Florida's opioid crisis, heading up Footprints Beachside Recovery Center in Treasure Island. We don't want anybody to ever give up hope. There's 100,000 opiate deaths, overdose deaths in the last 12 months. If you think about it, that's 100,000 people that could really still be here. In Tampa Bay, the overdose rate is 23 for every 100,000 people. That's 9% higher than the rest of Florida and 50% higher than the national average. And it comes as the Pasco County Sheriff raises awareness about a new dangerous synthetic opioid called ISO. It's 20 times stronger than fentanyl. In the Tampa Bay region alone, 30 people die each and every week. That's 30 families impacted in our community. But local and state leaders are stepping up to help. This month, Florida First Lady Casey DeSantis announced a new school program called The Facts Your Future, aimed at preventing teens from abusing drugs. Just say no, but here's why. A kid in, in, in high school could just be introduced to a Xanax and they, they've heard of that drug and they hear that, you know, their, their aunt takes it and somebody offers them at a party and they don't know that it's pressed with fentanyl and they never wake up the next day. It's frightening and it's devastating that can happen to, you know, a straight-A kid. Pinellas County is also investing $2 million into overdose reversal medications like Narcan and training for first responders. Templeton hopes more people will reach out for help, a move that likely saved his own life two decades ago. I'm going on my 20th year of sobriety, and, and you know, I love what a, what a wonderful life and really what a wonderful gift it is. And we want other people to experience that. And it's, um, I mean, it's, it's devastating. I mean, when you think about the amount of people that are dying every single day, even in this, in this area, you know, because of, you know, because of bad drugs. In Pinellas County, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. And if you're struggling with addiction, there is help out there. You can call 211 or the Florida Drug Abuse Hotline. That number, 1-888-497-9800.